And here, once again, they check the temperature. Now we're going to meet Dr. Mohammed Abhinay at his head of department, internal medicine. So, doctor, welcome to Oman Observer. Thank you. Could you tell us, um, since COVID-19 cases, what has been the way you changed at looking at patients uh, in terms of internal medicine? Yeah, it's, 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 it's changed dramatically. And uh, because COVID-19 uh, as a viral infection, we don't know much about it. Uh, and worldwide, there, was, there have been a lot of study about it and how it's, uh, it's, it's causing damage to the body and uh, respiratory system. So we've been following the guideline, WHO guideline, and then it will be, it will be examined and then uh, be tested. If he is highly suspected, then we, we will uh, get him admitted if he's really uh, symptomatic in a separate ward. And then those who have become positive, then we cohort them in another ward. So they will be separate in, 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 in cohorting them. Yeah. What is the difference in treatment they get in, in, in totality once they are the ward for positive patients? Yeah, in, in, in those who are suspected, we are not really sure it's COVID-19 or it's a spreader tract infection, a normal sort of spreader tract infection. Although they will behave like a COVID, but we will not be able to treat them and then until we confirm they are positive. Mm. In a positive uh, ward patient, then we will start them on the cocktail of the standard treatment for those uh, who are COVID-19 positive, including hydroxychloroquine, antiviral treatment, as well, we will cover them with other anti antibiotic because they might get secondary infection as well. And in addition to that, as you know recently, that uh, they say that there is a pro inflammatory problems and inflammation and as well thrombosis. So we do cover them with prophylaxisly with anticoagulation treatment as well. And did you also try plasma transfusion here? No, no, not, uh, okay. we, we, we didn't uh, we start here. yet, but I think at the Royal Hospital Royal. they mm -hmm. attempted mm -hmm. and uh, I'm not sure about the results. Okay. So no, uh, Doctor, now the, the attention of the world media is that COVID-19 uh, actually has inflammation. It's not pneumonia, which is a concern, but actually blood clots. Have you seen similarities in yes, the cases yes, here yes. too? Yes, we do, we do have, and we've proven that by, by investigations. Mm -hmm. Blood investigation, including the radiological feature, like a CT scan of this mm -hmm. patient, it shows that there is thrombosis in the, in, the, in the respiratory, in the pulmonary vessel of the respiratory system. So it's not only just respiratory tract infection, it's a systemic disease actually involving the respiratory, involving the arteries of the pulmonary. Even they can present with the cardiac problems mm. as well. And but also, strokes. it's not a stroke as such, the cardiac, mm. so it's like inflammation heart. of the yeah. heart. Yeah. So they might present with chest pain. Mm -hmm. And as you know, that one of the modalities of, of presentation is loss of smell and loss, loss of, uh, of the taste. So what it's a basically, we don't know basically oh. what, but it could be involvement of, of, of the nerve system, which mm -hmm. is supplying the taste buds and the, and, and the smell, uh, smell mm -hmm. the sensation as well. So the, the, the mechanism of it is well, not well known as, well, uh, as you know, and it's, it's a new disease and we don't know really much about it. But now starting the research and really uh, uncovering a lot of things about 